फ्रिक्शन लर्निंग अबाउट फोर्स ऑफ फ्रिक्शन चिल्ड्रन यू ऑल माइट हैव सीन अ ड्राइवर ऑफ अ कार स्लोइंग डाउन द व्हीकल एट अ ट्रैफिक सिग्नल यू टू स्लो डाउन योर बाइसिकल वेन एवर नीडेड बाय अप्लाइंग ब्रेक्स हैव यू एवर थॉट वाई अ व्हीकल स्लोज डाउन वेन ब्रेक्स आर अप्लाइड नॉट ओनली व्हीकल्स any object moving over the surface of another object slows down when no external force is applied on it finally it stops let us think of a rolling ball we have seen a moving ball on the ground stops after some time why do we slip when we step on a banana peel in this chapter we will find the answers to such questions force of friction Let us perform an activity to study force of friction. Activity: Gently push a wooden block on a table. You observe that it stops after moving for some distance. Now, let us push the wooden block from the opposite direction. You observe that it stops after moving for some distance. We can say that a force must be acting on the block opposing its motion. This force is called the force of friction. You saw that if you apply the force along the left, friction acts along the right. If you apply the force along the right, the friction acts along the left direction. In both cases, the force opposes the motion of the wooden block. The force of friction always opposes the applied force. In the above activity the force of friction acts between the surface of the wooden block and the surface of the table factors affecting friction let us perform an activity to study factors affecting activity make an inclined plane on a smooth table you may use a wooden board supported by books put a mark with a pen at any point a on the inclined plane Now let a pencil cell move down from this point note down the distance the distance covered is more on the smooth surface now spread a piece of cloth over the table make sure that there are no wrinkles in the cloth now let a pencil cell move down from this point note down the distance the distance covered is little less on cloth surface friction is caused by the irregularities on the two surfaces in contact even those surfaces which appear very smooth have a large number of minute irregularities on them we see that the friction is caused by the interlocking of irregularities in the two surfaces it is obvious that the force of friction will increase if the two surfaces are pressed harder activity Let us move a box at rest. We found that it was a bit tough to get it started. The force required to overcome friction at the instant an object starts moving from rest is a measure of static friction. Now, let us again move the car which is already in motion. The force required to keep the object moving with the same speed is a measure of sliding friction. When the car starts sliding the contact points on its surface do not get enough time to lock into the contact points of the floor so the sliding friction is slightly smaller than the static friction and you find it somewhat easier to move the car already in motion than to get it started friction when we fix the nail on the wall it is due to friction if an object started moving it would never stop if there were no friction because of friction between the tires of the automobiles and the road they can be started or stopped or turned to change the direction of motion on the other hand friction is an evil too it wears out the materials whether they are screws ball bearings or soles of shoes friction can also produce heat vigorously rub your palms together for a few minutes it will make you feel warm 
When you strike a match stick against the rough surface, it catches fire during due to friction. From all the above activities, we come to know that friction produces heat. We shall discuss the ways of minimizing friction in the next section. Summary Friction opposes the relative motion between two surfaces in contact. It acts on both the surfaces. Static friction comes into play when we try to move an object at rest. Sliding friction comes with play when an object is sliding over another. Sliding friction is smaller than static friction. That is all in this topic. Let us learn about increasing and reducing friction in our next topic.